Alrighty, what is up everybody? It is your boy Fire. Thank you once again for tuning into another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at how we can mix vocals like Polo G, Lil Durk, Future, Lil Uzi Vert, etc. etc. In terms of how their mixes are sounding overall these days, I've kind of picked up on this pattern that I've found uh, when listening to Spotify. I kind of skim through tracks and I hear the same thing over and over again. And that is really that I feel that a lot of artists are pretty much not really mixing their records too much these days. They kind of pretty much focusing on releasing what they are hearing in the studio at that time. I think that's really cool from the listener's point of view because it really allows you to hear the track in its most raw form. Um, I skim to the, tr the credits of a lot of uh, tracks and I find there is still definitely a mastering engineer, but for the most part I'm finding that the person that recorded the track does the final mix and that's pretty interesting, right? Because you as an independent artist can be that person. You can record your own track and then mix and then send it off for mastering if you'd like to do that. So I've made this template that is kind of going to be focused around that and kind of tries to achieve that same level of quality. That way you don't have to over mix your tracks in order to kind of get it to sound good. We can kind of focus on a few techniques that are that is going to allow our vocal to sound good on every beat so stick around for that if you're interested in this style of mixing uh we've got some really cool plugins which we can run through some techniques etc etc so yeah man let's get into it so the track that i'm going to be working off today is polo g rap star and the reason for that is because it perfectly uh kind of represents the style that i wanted to show you guys today so as you can see the engineer had uh recorded and mixed the track sent off for mastering by someone else so that's what we'll do so we'll take a listen to the track and then we can see how we get the vocal similar in vocal tone. I'm not interested in copying Polo G's exact style. Uh, obviously, I do that because that way you can use these templates on different songs, okay? Uh, you know, I think when people do exact cover songs, it's kind of a one-shot pony. But when you try and work your vocal into a different beat, that kind of sets you up to achieve a lot more. So, yeah, man, let's get into it. I'll press play. Definitely make sure to smash like and subscribe. All the good stuff. Let's get it. Me on my back with a clean smirk. Yeah, they really thought we was kidding. Haters on the sideline while we winning. Kick back, cooling out if they ask me how I live. Yeah, I can't hang with ops, heard that boy fall. Yeah, if that girl a thought, gotta let her go. Just round round, I'm getting it. Got the flow, but I can switch it. Put 100k on my wish list. This new to you, but this is all shit. OG Kush in my backpack, let's break it down and roll it. Trying to forget the past, cause my heart is all frozen. Everybody wanna be a rap star. Jump up on stage like a rock star Yeah, you talking, but I don't really wanna hear you If we ain't talking no money, then we cannot feel you OG Kush in my backpack Alright, there you go. We've kind of got that nice LA vocal sound, you know. I've kind of got this image printed in my head or soundscape printed in my head of how we can achieve that. So we'll get straight into it. Um, this template is definitely focused on a more basic kind of view of things. I want it to be as simple as possible, but to be as impactful as possible. So we'll kind of get straight into it. Obviously, for those who are new to the template format, there's always a video included uh, which will guide you through all the rooting and whatnot. And uh, it always starts off at the microphone input section where we can add our mic, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 as you can see right there, we have our microphone added to that section and then we can record and it can be a lot of fun. But once we do that, we can obviously head over to our auto-tune section. I've got a noise gate that'll be there for you. You can obviously, I'll provide a free one in the FL Studio free version. Uh, Fruity Limited can be used as a noise gate. Auto-tune, you know, you can auto-tune as much as you want, but artists in general, even this Polo G track has auto-tune in it, but it's not kind of the Lil Wayne auto-tune or T-Pain auto-tune effect. So that sound you can achieve between about 10 and 20 is definitely going to be that source. Um, I have done a video on the Fruity Pitcher, so you can go and check that out as well. It's probably about three to four videos back. Um, but yeah, you can use auto-tune right there. From then on out, what you want to do is obviously route that to our vocal chain, which is where we're going to do the bulk of our processing. So first things first, Fry's Vocal Enhancer, this is a GUI update which someone in Discord did, so shout out to you. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of playing around with it before I uh, do the update and then everyone that owns the Vocal Enhancer will get the update via email, so check out for that. Um, but really what I do with this is these two plugins right here that I've kind of color coded in this kind of lime color um, are used to kind of give us that console saturation sound in the box okay i really want to make sure that you know that's kind of the basis of it all it's like you know a lot of these artists are going to these expensive studios and they're making use of all the outboard gear out there so i've considered that for everyone out there that may be recording at home i want you to be able to get that same gritty tone obviously i will use something else for those who don't use vocal enhancer but what i do with this is i kind of get this nice tube sound 
uh, that we've mimicked from like a Fairchild. We really get a nice kind of bassy sound. We, we drive it a little bit and pretty much just EQ. I actually added a little bit of the muddy sound into it. I feel that Polo G song or vocal in this track had a bit more low end than usual. Definitely helps when you're rapping over these kind of uh, indie style melodic trap beats. And that uh, sounds good. We add a little bit of treble, kind of tone on the air a little bit and get this cool pull takey sound. And you know, not really doing too much else other than that little bit of reverb. As you can hear in Polo G's vocal, there is quite a bit of reverb. That's obviously going to be standard in your future Uzi, Dirk tracks. A little bit of reverb in there, but not anything that is going to stand out. So that works perfectly. After that, we then add the bus color 4, which is going to add a nice kind of dark distortion sound to our vocal. If I actually turn this off, we'll hear the dramatic difference. So, OG Kush in my backpack, let's break it down and roll it. You can kind of hear it gets louder. Obviously, we've turned the vocal down a little bit more than usual, but you know, it helps to kind of glue in the vocal before we actually hit the rest of the chain where we actually manipulate the vocal. OG Kush in my backpack, let's break it down and roll it. Trying to forget the past because my heart is all frozen. And if you're listening on some decent headphones with decent speakers, you can hear that the kind of treble mid-range region, the mid-treble region of the vocal gets a bit more spicy, a bit more airy, and that definitely works in this instance. So I would recommend for you, this is a free plug-in, Buscular 4, mess around with all the different colors and then just see what works for you. Tube sounds good, um, punch sounds good, it's kind of the API sound, and dark, I don't know what it is, but it, it really does this nice kind of top end thing to your vocals, so check that out, awesome stuff. After that, definitely on every template you'll find in a Pro Tools studio or whatever, you're gonna find an SSL channel strip usually used on the vocal. SSL strip, Waves compressor is like, you know, the source. So what I've done here, kept it simple, I've just used a little bit of the high pass filter because obviously with these types of beats we've got an 808, we've got a kick, we've got usually the guitar taking up quite a lot of that kind of 40 up to around 180 hertz and uh, we don't want our vocal to clash with that so we're doing a nice high pass filter um, I actually added a bit of 200 in this track right to really get that sound I'm hearing Uzi's vocal sound a bit more bassy, Future's vocal sounding a bit more bassy uh, even Thug's vocal sounding a bit more bassy these days it's, it seems to be a trend and again you know just the Minus 0 0.8 on 200 again, so we kind of get this pull techie vibe. I like doing that, sounds good. And again, just I usually am going to be bumping 3k a little bit just to help your vocal kind of pop through the snare. That's one thing that people obviously have issues with is how to get that vocal to kind of sit on top of the beat but not sound like overly. You know, at the end of the day, this is storytelling music, so the vocal is the main element, but uh, you obviously don't want to emphasize everything. So you just want to pop out certain parts of the vocal that you may feel sound good on your voice so for me it's 3k for you it might be 4.6 might be 2k maybe not 1k that's a bit where you kind of start getting a bit nasally but uh you know 3k definitely for me works so if i was the boosters OG Kush, my backpack let's break it down and roll it trying to forget the past because my heart is all frozen everybody want to be a rap star jump up on stage and you'll know you've got it when the more you boost it doesn't really change too much but obviously too much and it gets harsh so you just want to kind of pop it out right there very important right here so after that 8k boost this is the classic ssl region right here 8000 hertz just a little bit of a 2 db boost i would kind of not do too much boosting uh it'll kind of eat you up later on if you boost a bit too much so be very cautious with that so after that we kind of run our vocal into a DS. -er. So for those who don't know what a DS -er is, it's essentially a compressor that'll only compress a certain part of the vocal. So what a DS -er does in this instance, this is the classic waves DS -er, is it'll DS everything over 4,450. So, you know, picture this, we'll go down to 44. We'll just leave it at that. And every time the vocal, every time the vocal kind of pops in the S sound, tss, 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 the vocal or the, the compressor will kind of just do that. Right, so you can see that by the way that this attenuation meter kind of drops down. It's pretty much compressing. So, OG Kush, my backpack, let's break it down and roll it. Trying to forget. So, you can see that ta, try, it kind of pulled it down to around 9 dB or 10 dB at max. And that sounds really good. This is a really nice, simple to use com compressor DS. <laughs> but, yeah, man, after that, then again, we got to get technical with the vocal. This is where our parametric EQ pops in. Now, again, I said we want to go for that more so gritty, rough mix, finished product sound. So, I'm not going to do too much. You've seen me do a lot of kind of technical um you know mixing with a parametric eq at times for example i can remember now the um the melodic rap vocal effect a little while back uh doing the lemonade track 
I think we did a whole lot of EQ just to really make sure the vocal sat in. That was a very produced sound. This is not what we're going for. So all I did was focus on the bare essentials, which is to kind of deal with our, I would say 100 to 500 region. As you can see, we've stuck to that theory. We don't want to overcook it, but we want to make sure that again, our vocal is not clashing with any of the guitars, pianos, whatever it may be. That is the melodic part of the track. We don't want to clash with that so really just separating the two again making sure our vocal fits in the beat so after that i did a dip but i didn't like that um but what i did want to do after the de-essing was just add a little bit more air um that really helps to again we have done quite a bit of air so in total we've done about i would say around 3 db of lift and that works perfectly for me quite happy with that but what that does is it emphasizes the distortion that we've added earlier on so i always recommend people to to, to do boosts after saturation sounds really good sounds really console sounding um it sticks to the theory of a console right because you drive your line inputs and then you hit your eq so i'm kind of following a analog mix flow right cool stuff so after that what we do is c4 now i'm whenever i want to do something to the vocal that i can't really do with an eq or a compressor i pull out a multi-band compressor because what the multi-band compressor allows you to do is compress our vocal in certain regions it's essentially what a DS is except we have all four bands to work with whereby a DS will only be well kind of one band going upwards okay so what i do again is just people have heard me say this i'm massaging the vocal using a c4 so OG Kush, my backpack let's break it down and roll it and this time around not doing much right um i wish we could see how much we we're doing can we no we can't but really just dabbing down on the vocal and then using the output volume fader to then run into our compressor now this is a compressor i haven't used much of um much of of but or much of lately but uh this was something i used to use on voiceovers a lot and i really like it because this analog section is actually the sweet source right here if you want to get more of a kind of analog distortion sound on your vocal these are really cool three would be the most hardcore so you can hear how much the vocal kind of changes when i put it OG Kush, my backpack let's break it down and roll it trying to forget the past because my heart is soft frozen but it's really nice, man. And this one and four sound really good. So try them all out, see what works for your vocal. If I was to turn it off. OG Kush, my backpack, let's break it down and roll it. See, it doesn't really have that pop. OG Kush, my backpack, let's break it down and roll it. And we don't have to use it fully. As you can see right here, I used this preset tight vocal and just kind of adjusted it to fit more of a rap vocal sound. Uh, I think I added a little bit of the punch, really cool. Adjusted the attack, possibly, I don't know, maybe the release I kept the same. But at the end of the day, just really Kind of dialing it in to make it sound good so i highly recommend you just to slightly touch these settings and see what works for you after that we're using the good old cla echosphere we can hear that it is important to have a little bit of kind of dimension in your tracks you'll see these last three aqua plugins or aqua labeled plugins are going to be our kind of a widening of the vocal to help it to kind of fit into the beat without kind of sounding two-dimensional on top of the beat so what i do here is just add literally seven percent of the reverb effect i'm not using any slap um i just want to get a bit of that reverb out and if i boost this you can kind of hear the sound i was going for OG Kush, my backpack let's break it down and roll it trying to forget the past because my heart is off out OG Kush, my backpack let's break it down and roll it trying to forget the past but as you can hear the more i boost it we don't really hear too much of it and that's the beauty of it right i wanted to choose kind of a stock standard uh plate sound where we've got the cool set folk in 60 milliseconds that just seems to work with the tempo of 140 70 ppm or whatever it may be just really sounds good obviously adjust it um accordingly to how fast your track is and how fast you're rapping and then just not too long of a reverb time because at the end of the day this is a kind of storytelling style of music where we want to have the reverb be present but not kind of drag on for too long as, as if it's like a you know emotional type track so you know there you go really cool definitely mix, mess around with it if you want to go for more atmospheric track more atmospheric tracks then lift that a little bit um over here we have a bit more flanger going in two flanges actually we'll talk about them all at once but just a little bit six percent of flanger and then um four percent of flanger and again all three of these effects just help us to kind of gel the vocal into the beat post compression and all these crazy things we've done so if i was to turn them off OG Kush, my backpack let's break it down on yeah, if they're gonna talk, gotta let it go Just round round, I'm getting it Got the flow, but I can switch it Put 100k on my wish list This new to you, but this is all shit OG Kush, my backpack Let's break it down and roll it Trying to forget the past Cause my heart is all frozen Everybody wanna be a rap star See, I've kind of carefully chosen these presets So that 
you can dial in a little bit more i wanted to keep this plain because obviously the reference track is plain but you can work with these a little bit um even with the free vst version i will copy the settings the same so that you can adjust them it's really cool um again you know vocal bus i haven't changed my vocal bus in probably a year <laughs> i'm just really happy with how this sounds uh my vocal bus secret is really just to use a ssl bus compressor with a l1 limiter at the end and the SSL bus compressor really just helps to glue all of the vocals together. This is especially important if you have doubles and all sorts of different things. Uh, what can tend to happen is that without a bus compressor on your mix bus, I find that some things jump out. Whereby if our main vocal is, is the most loud element, which it usually is, then everything can kind of be compressed at the same time. So this is how this really helps. So watch how much compression we do. 1 dB. Yeah, if that girl attack, gotta let her go Just round round, I'm getting it Got the flow, but I can switch it Put 100k on my wish list This new to you, but this is all shit OG cushion, my backpack Let's break it down and roll it and that really just helps to kind of average out the vocal. This is an RMS type compressor. So it's really working off of average loudness more so than it is peak loudness. So really cool, really nice little secret right there. And then again, L1 is just gonna help you set how much louder you want the vocal by the threshold. The more you pull it down, the louder the vocal gets. Ceiling is gonna set that overall output level that it can't exceed. That actually also acts as a volume fader. So really cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on our vocal bus. Again, backgrounds, I don't have much going on since polo g wasn't really using much in this track and this type of rack doesn't generally lean on that you can check out other templates for crazier effects but i did do a little bit because why not just typical stuff and that just kind of helps sit behind the vocal yeah i can't hang what ops heard that boy fall files to boost it yeah i can't hang what ops heard that boy fall and I was just copying an H3000 just to kind of help get that widened effect to emphasize certain parts. We've got some um, kind of melodic sing parts really tucked in the background of the track. You can obviously go crazier, but just see if you can hear it. It's frozen. Everybody wanna be a rap star. Jump up on stage like a rock star. Yeah, you talking, but I don't really And it's just da 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 da, just kind of sing in the background. Crazy auto tune. And that just really helps to kind of create a nice atmosphere in the background. Doesn't really need to be ever present. Obviously, sold it out. Sounds a bit different. But, you know, just kind of pops in in the back. And really all I did, again, auto-true, noise gate, reverb, EQ. I've done tons of background videos. I'm not going to do run through it in this video. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So, yeah, that's really all I wanted to show you. Again, I used a few outboard effects as well, which I will um, replicate in the free VST version. Essentially, I have my H3000. Uh, I don't know why it says H300, H3000, two effectrons making a stereo pair and then some distortion. If I was to solo those out, you can kind of hear. Just helps kind of, now we can really hear that reverb in the background, right? Um, but you know, bit of effectron as well, if you want to listen to that. Yeah, they really thought we was kidding. Let's just kind of do this. Yeah, they really thought we was kidding Haters on the sideline while we winning Kick back, cooling out if they ask me how I live Really enjoying them. Those are the blue units at the back there. Really cool. And then a little bit of Yuri distortion, which I've showed in a previous mix video. Yeah, they really thought we was kidding Haters on the sideline while we winning and those just help kind of create a bit more of a texture behind the vocal. Not much really going on. Fruity flangers will just do the job. I think it sounds great. Um, but yeah, that's really it, man. Um, I can't really show you too much else. Hyperdrive sound pack, check it out. Should I do, I want to do a, a drum sample pack soon. So for those producers out there, I might do a really cool um, kind of edited sound um, or like sound pack because I know a lot of these sounds are just duplicates. So I want to run a few 808s and stuff through distortion models and stuff like that. So comment below if you'd like to see that. But other than that, uh, that's really all I can show you in this video. Definitely check it out if you are somebody who likes to produce a lot of tracks a week, likes to rap a lot of tracks a week. Um, that way you can quickly get material out using this template. If I was to turn off the vocal chain, I forgot to do that. Yeah, they really thought we was kidding haters on the sideline while we winning. Kick back, cooling out if they ask me how I live. Yeah, I can't hang with ops, heard that boy fall. Yeah, if that girl a thought, gotta let her go. Just round round, I'm getting it. Got the flow, but I can switch it. Put 100k on my wish list. This new to you, but this is all shit. Look at how we get that kind of articulation to pop out of the vocals. So yeah, man, definitely check the links below for the purchase link to this. 
definitely make sure to smash that like button as well and i will check you all out next time peace out